Welcome to Biblical Creation Basics, Episode 7, Genetic Entropy. A mutation is an alteration in the nucleotide sequence of the genome of a living organism. Mutations are genetic mistakes in the programming of life. These genetic typographical errors erode and destroy the information content and systems of living organisms over time. Humans experience mutations at a very high rate. We grow a little more mutant every single day. We all accumulate mutations over our lifetime that eventually results in death. Many of these mutations are passed on from generation to generation. This means that it's not only individuals that are mutant, it is populations that are mutant. Mutation accumulation means that genomes are always degenerating. The human mutation rate is roughly 100 new mutations per person per generation. Natural selection is limited. It is simply a fine tuning mechanism that will keep a species as strong as it can be. And genetic entropy is the fact that natural selection is not powerful enough to remove most mutations since most mutations are only slightly deleterious and therefore invisible to selection. The majority of mutations are effectively neutral. Natural selection cannot see most mutations. Since mutations degrade information content and mutations accumulate from generation to generation, whole populations naturally head towards extinction. Since as a population, we transmit many mutations to the next generation, the process is downhill and it is disastrous. The high mutation rate and the increased genetic load over time means that natural selection cannot override or counterbalance the degradation occurring in biological systems. Low impact and slightly deleterious mutations are accumulating in populations over time. And this fact is a fatal problem for evolutionary theory. The mutation rate is high. The genome is mostly functional. Mutations are mostly deleterious and natural selection is limited. These facts mean that large-scale evolution has not happened. Mutations in natural selection cannot create novel, complex biological systems because mutations are overwhelmingly deleterious. And natural selection cannot overcome the degeneration. Natural selection can only act upon the worst mutations. Selection can only act upon a mutation that is damaging enough to affect reproduction. Most mutations are only slightly deleterious and therefore selection won't do anything about them. They go undetected. One single spelling mistake in a book the size of an encyclopedia is inconsequential on its own. But over time, as individual mistakes accumulate, the book deteriorates and the message is lost. It's not the individual mistakes. It's the accumulation of these individual mistakes over time. And again, this increased genetic baggage over time means large-scale evolution did not and could not happen. There must be a type of selection 
that can rid the population of so many low impact, nearly neutral, and very slightly deleterious mutations. Since selection involves the death of individuals, selection, again, is extremely limited. You cannot select away an entire population since that would result in immediate extinction. Selection can only ever slow down the degeneration process. It can never solve the degeneration problem. Dr. Robert Carter has pointed out that if our species can't persist for millions of years into the future, that means our species have not persisted from millions of years into the past. As a quick reminder to everyone, hit that like button. It actually does help. Team Standing for Truth is out. <laughs>